Lads, I'm here to tell you. I've been thinking long and hard about squares for a while. You know in that company, uh, Fireball, they're out of Spokane, dude named uh, Jason. And uh, they make those badass fabrication squares. You know what I'm talking about? And they're crazy expensive. And I, I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. And I got some stuff I want to build this winter. And it's just time, right? You know, I got all of these kind of squares. Everybody uses these kind of squares. And then uh, if you look on a bench here, there's, you know, the old basic squares. Oh, that's loud. And then these dudes. But it's just time, right? I'm doing enough higher-end fabrication stuff. It's got to be a little more precise. I'm finally to that point where it's got to be a little more precise. You just can't weld it together and then just bend it back and put a square on it and go, eh, I think we did it. So uh, what I did is I ordered up, uh, as far as I can tell here, about 17, 1800 bucks worth of squares. And that's, that's a big ask, man. I don't care who you are. I mean... We don't, a lot of guys don't spend that on metal every year, but I thought about it long and hard and I said, I gotta, I gotta up my game and I'm gonna I get a whole set like Jason had. He had this one video and I can't, I can't remember which one it was, but he went to get a square and it was on this like tree thing that he built. And that dude builds the coolest stuff. If you haven't been to Fireball, look it up on YouTube. It's awesome. That dude is so cool. Oh, I'm just got a man crush on that guy because he's so badass, man. He builds the coolest stuff. Anyway, the, uh, he made this, uh, like a tree. Or something. All these squares around this tree and all these little clampy bits around this tree. And I went, that's how it's got to be done, boys. You can't be just laying your squares all over the place. And I mean, they're supposed to be very accurate tools to build accurate things. So anyway, I broke down and uh, I got uh, 1700 bucks worth of stuff here. I haven't looked at it, which is why this is going to be kind of cool. This just kind of broke open coming over here. There's uh, three boxes this size and they are 40 pounds a piece. And I'm telling you, I got to, I was winded. I need to work out. I was winded just bringing them in here. So I've never done an unboxing video. I don't know how this is going to go, but I want to, I want, I want, I don't know. There's just something about it. I want to see what it's like and film myself getting to experience, you know, these badass squares in this order at the same time you guys do. Also, I got this note. Look at that. Bob Stormer is awesome. Art Fireball Tools. I think that was that Jason guy. Just show me a little love right there, buddy. Or I just did that here. It could go either way, really. So uh, let's do, uh, let's just open these up and see what happens. I don't know how this is going to work, but uh, let's give it a shot. It's going to be fun either way. I haven't seen what's in these, so I am excited to see what I got. So uh, let me let me turn this little button here. Here we go. Nope, nope, oop. All right, this is box one. I don't know what's in it. Let me tell you what we got here. Some swivel pad lock C-clamps, 12-inch fabricator kit, got uh, 6 and 11-inch mixed round clamps, 8-inch cast iron, cast iron minion pack, edge alignment, pins, I don't know, a bunch of stuff. Let's go. All right. Here's my bill, which we will not be showing uh, to my wife. All right. These are heavy. Fireball tool, whatever these are. Here we go. Man, these are heavy. You know, I don't know. Uh, you know the website doesn't really do it good justice. These, I think of these are the, uh, the Minion ones. Oh, they got that coating on there. Dude, these are, I can't, even as small as this is, I bet this weighs five pounds. Dude, that is super cool. Look at that, dude. You see it there? Got the got the coating on it. I'll get that all cleaned off. Uh, oh, these are the edge edge locator pins. I haven't used these yet, but I've watched enough of those dudes' videos. All right, so you take this dude here, pop that on there. Did I do it on the right side? No, you should do it on the other side, I bet. I don't know, we'll figure this out together, you and me. Here we go. Pop that on there. Yeah, it's got to be this side, right? Ooh, look at that. This is kind of exciting. Eh. We'll play with more of this later, but... The reason you put these on here, as far as I can tell from watching all those videos, is so that when you put material on here, you got something to butt up against. So let's try it. Just, just for fun here. I got a little piece of square. Look at that. Just like it is on that dude's video. Shoot. I feel like a player. All right. So this is the, uh, those are the minions. I believe this is probably more of the same. 
Yep. So I got two sets of these Minion dudes. And that should be pretty good for a lot of stuff. Like, if you check these babies out, what are these things? About an inch and a half, four, six. That's a good size, boys. If you got a little stuff you're working on the bench, all right. Get one of these out of the way. What else we got in here? A lot of packing peanuts. Jeez, these are heavy. What's this guy? Oh man, look at that. Oh my, look at the size of this thing. So cool. I'm telling you, that's, I'm gonna get a workout just doing that. That is, what size is that one? That's an eight. Look at that, I'm telling you. How cool is this? Man, I like it. That comes with all those little edge bits. Let's pop that over there. A lot of packing peanuts. I think these are the fun ones. Like if you lick them, they stick to stuff. Yeah, they're the fun ones. I don't know what they're made out of. Probably something toxic. All right, another one of those. I cannot stress to you how heavy those are. Oh. All right, what do we got here, buddy? Oh, man, look at the size of it. Dude, this thing is enormous. Oh, I'm liking it. How big is this dude? Dude, that's three inches. That's eight. Oh man, like if you're making a, a, a chassis, like a race car chassis or a hot rod chassis. Look at the size of this monster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see now why they're a little spendy. This is legit. These are machine surfaces. Dude, I'm a fan. I should have bought these sooner. Ah, throw that over there. All right, let's put this big dude right there. The other thing in this box. Is that it? That's it. I believe this is a uh, mate to that other big square there. Oh, no. Oh, I bet this is that fabricator kit. Like, what, what did it say here? Uh, fabricator kit. I bet this is the fabricator kit. I bet this goes with that. You get more of those edge locating tools. Look at these babies. These go right on here, buddy. Let's get that out of here. Look at the size of that. Okay, seriously. You know, this is what we were using, right? We made race car frames with this. Huh? Huh? That's what I'm talking about. Wow, it's actually very similar in size. Cool as that. It's probably not an accident. Look at this, buddy. Woo! Pop that on there. I'm excited. You know, it's a, it's a reasonable ask. These are not overly cheap. But to have what I think is gonna be a, a tool like this to up our game, figures. I don't have one long enough. Heck, I bet it can square up the square. Almost. Dude, look at that. A little fireball action there. There you go. All right, so that's box one. This dude, another 45 pound box. It's like Christmas. Push that stuff out the way. Look at that. Oh, these are those clamp dudes. Like these are his clamps that he uses all the time. Look at that. You probably use that with that minion, right? Get in there. Little clampy clampy. I got a mess of these. I'm going to make a rack. So we got one, two, three, four. What is that? That's five. So I got six. You know, I, I think that's what I did, right? What did I get? Six. Six. And six. Look at these dudes. Oh, man. Are these the deal or what? Woo! I'll be balling and shot calling. Is that it? Nope. All right, so these are all, these are the clamps he uses on all of these. Like if you watch those dudes' videos, right? He's got the clamp out. 
He's got it all adjusted. Put some metal in there. Boom, gives it a little clamp up. And I'm like, if I'm gonna do this, I wanna use the same stuff old Jason's using. It's good for that guy. Let me go with these. Let me get this out of the way. Alright. What do we got here? Oh, he's more of those edge alignment packs. Or whatever. I think that's what they call them. F5, whatever those are. See right there? It's whatever those are. I got a bunch of extra ones of those because I didn't want to be out. And that should about get me. Let's get those out of the way. Oh, these. Now these. You see those dudes there? These are those dowels. Maybe these are the ones they call edge locators. I don't know the whole story. Kind of an amateur on the uh, this guy's knowledge, but see, and then these dudes. Let's get that minion. These dudes go in here. I do know that. Now we get like an inside situation. Man, that's a good fit. These are pretty cool. All right, put these over here. Oh, another big clamp. What else we got here, buddy? Something big in here. Ooh, another clamp. I have to build myself a clamp tree. Well, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna guess this one's a triangle. Oh man, these are cool. Tell me you don't want to go make something right now. It could be wood, it could be steel, it doesn't matter. That's just awesome. Another box. And we got one more in here, I think. There it is. Dude, these are so cool. Look at that, dude. Like just, it's not just for 90 degree stuff or with 45s. You can parallel with this too. I don't remember how I've seen it, but there's ways to hook your stuff up, knock these together. Now these two are parallel here, you know what I mean? Put your clamp on there. Dude, these are so badass. And these are the uh, these are the aluminum ones. I think I got some cast iron ones just to try, you know what I mean? Alright, so that's that's the end of that dude. This is the third box. This boy is heavy as well. What does he weigh? 33, this is a light one. What do we got here? How'd you, and seriously, how'd you like to be the FedEx guy that picks up a fireball tool? That dude's gotta be buff. He could be one of them dudes that's like doing Atlas stones, you know, on TV late at night. Whoa! All right, what do we got here? Oh, these are one of the cast iron ones. Holy mackerel. I hope it just weighs 10 pounds. Wow. They say the cast ones are a little more uh, resistant to damage. I can kind of maybe see that. One of those dudes. Oh, it's the other minion set. Apparently I heard three of those dudes. Maybe they don't call them minion. 611 mixed round clamps. 11 inch C clamps. Cast iron fabricator kit. Oh, it's called the minion package. So I got a minion package, and that's more of these dudes. Remember these guys here. That's these dudes. Let me get that clamp. Man, these are cool. So that's those minion ones, they're a little smaller. Seriously, look at the difference on this. Look at that monster! Wow. All right, let's put that in there. Dude, I would be making stuff like crazy. All right, what else we got here? Camera shaking, too. All right. Oh, yep. 
That's a little cast. That's a cast one. So that's cast iron. Man, those are neat. I'll put him over here with the other one. And I think this one, two of these. There you go. I believe this is what they call the six and eight, right? I don't know. But anyway, this one's cast iron too. Man, that is so cool. And the triangle. There you go. Put that right there. Holy mackerel. Let me slide this back into the shower. Let's look at these dudes. All these minion dudes. Look at that. It could take me a month to get through all this. This guy. <laughs> Boys, uh, don't let your wife see your credit card statement before uh, it's time. You know what I'm trying to say? All right. I'm digging it.